Hello fellow YouTubers, it's me, Dark Poet, back at you once again. This time I'm doing a little bit of a different video. It's a, a review, tech review, um, for something I bought off of Amazon.com. This here Dealy Whopper. It's a HDMI splitter. Um, I bought this on Amazon for $10.90 and, you know, my computer monitor only has one HDMI input, so I figured this would be great. It's got intelligent switching. It'll switch between three channels depending on which source it detects coming on, which it did do that because um, I've got a PS4 all hooked up and my PC hooked up and I had to have a way to switch between the PC's display and then the PS4 display. So I bought this, but I should have kept in mind an old adage that I live by but ignored this time and that is you get what you pay for. This sucks. It doesn't work. It does switch when it picks up a source but when it displays say my PC it'll come up then the screen will go black and then it'll come up again and the screen will go black. And it would just continue to do this in a continuous cycle over and over. It would never, ever actually stay like, it, like I know it should. And then I switched over to the PlayStation 4 and tried it. And it, same, same thing. Screen, screen kept going black, back, black, back, black, back. So finally I got upset. I've got a return for this already set up. But I'm going to go ahead and take you to the web page and show you the specifications for this and I will let you know a much better alternative that I actually wound up going out and paying more money for but this time I got what I paid for and it works but let's go ahead and move on to the next area see you in a little bit alright fellow youtubers this is the web page for Amazon uh, I'm not quite sure who made the product No, that's not it. But, you know, there were some reviews down here, and this is the reason why I bought it. It got a 4 star out of 5 review. Plug in use with 45cm piggy tail. See, they can't even spell pigtail. No extra power needed. 24 karat gold plated connector resists corrosion, providing rigidity and better signal performance. <laughs> okay, I gotta laugh at that last button. No, how about no signal performance? Uh, it features multifunctional on switching intelligent or mechanical because intelligent it does it automatically mechanical there's a selector button you can press to switch between the channels um, it's supposed to support 1080p and 4k and even 3d it couldn't even do 1080p folks my monitor is a 1080p Supports 12 bit per channel, 36 bit all channel deep color. I mean, once the source device is turned on or plugged in, the switcher will automatically select the source. Once the source device is turned off or plugged out, or unplugged is what they should have said, the switcher will select the next powered on source depending on the sequence automatically. And I will give it that the intelligent function did work. It did work. Uh, when the source devices are in standby mode, its power supply should be turned off. Otherwise, the switcher cannot meet intelligent function. That's why you press the button to switch to another source. But I, I scroll down and I base my purchase on reviews. Oh, I definitely recommend this product. Functional and works well. Love having additional ports for my HDMI. Uh, this is absolutely what you need so you don't have to switch out cables when you have multiple HDMI devices. They can't spell either. You can see I have my Fire Stick in one port and my Xbox One and cable in another. There is no noticeable lag or glitch in picture quality. I can't see actually anything about your Fire Stick in... No. I, I, don't, I, I, I don't see this anywhere. Perfect! It does work! I plug in a Blu-ray cable box and PlayStation and it works. My TV 
has only one HDMI plug-in, and with this HDMI switch, I have three in one plunged in. What is it with people and misspelling? Great product, I recommend. I am amazed at this product. No more trying to find the ports on the side of my TV. It is convenient when my brothers come over to plug in their consoles. Another spelling error. This is my first time using this, and it is so easy and convenient. Okay, we got convenient spelled correctly, but we couldn't use the proper there right here. Okay, I'm going to quit being the grammar Nazi and just read them. I really like this, and it works very well. Look at all these. Oh, here's a four-star. Great product for the price. Here's a one-star. When using the Amazon Fire Stick, the Fire Stick will restart during operation and become grainy. Anything else you run on it will work just fine. Does not work. Image flickers on all three ports. Once removed and plugged device directly to TV, device worked indicating the problem was with the HDMI switch. This is the problem I had, the image flickers on all three ports. That's exactly my issue. But you've got so many of these five-star rave reviews. So, you know, I start to wonder with some of these reviews. I think these people are paid to put up garbage. But they all say verified purchase, verified purchase, verified purchase. I should put mine in there and say it doesn't work. I agree with Daniel. It's a piece of crap. It doesn't work at all. Um, so, yeah, I, I bought it based on the overwhelming number of rave reviews. Okay, so there you have it. This is, uh, I'm not quite sure who makes it though. It's, you can compare this with similar items. Oh, Max King. Well, Max King needs to put out a better product. I'm not sure if the product works or not. I mean, it may have only been the one I received that was defective um, there's a good possibility that not all of them are defective but to save you the heartache I would not order this device at all so I'm going to return to another screen and show you the alternative I got that actually works very well so moving on alright so as I've come to find out that that pigtail, which is, hold on, I mean, there doesn't seem to be any, any visible defects, it doesn't seem like any, I tested the wires, you know, I tweaked at them and tugged a little bit, worked them to see if that made any difference, but it didn't. So, the defect is in the switcher, so that's inside. Uh, when I got the package, there was nothing inside of the package to say it was quality tested at all. So I think these are being produced on an assembly line and just kicked out as quick as, the, as, quick as they can make them and get them out. Um, no quality assurance testing that I'm aware of. Because most products sometimes do come with that little tag, inspected by 35 for quality assurance. But no, this, I mean, it looks great short cord you know perfect I could work it you know twist it around set it up how I needed it but unfortunately it did not live up to expectations so it's going back to Amazon but I figured I'd do a review before I send it back I wind up going to Walmart and buying this this is all I can show you is the package it's a three device HDMI switch by on this cost me twenty six dollars and some change though it is powered it's got a little micro USB that you plug into one of your USB ports in your tower then plug it uh, plug <laughs> then you plug in the micro USB into this piece here and you have one output and three inputs so it does not come with an HDMI cable all it comes with is the switcher and the USB power cord Luckily for me, I had an HDMI cable in the closet. Unfortunately, it's about a four or five foot long monstrosity, which is now all twisted up behind my monitor like a snake ready to bite the shit out of somebody. 
but it does work at first I, I got it all hooked up I held the receipt held the package so if it didn't work I could take it back to Walmart and get my money back at first it didn't work I had it connected and I'm going wow it's oh, wow so then I decided to look at the HDMI cable because I figured you know maybe trying to work this four foot cord behind my monitor maybe it dislodged sure enough I got down there and plugged it up in there and it lit up and so far I'm able to switch between my computer and switching into the PS4 of course the PC does have to stay on because all my audio is going from the PC to my stereo um, and another thing I, I actually thought you know maybe I'll just unplug the HDMI for the PC then plug in the PS4 and do it the manual old-fashioned way but my HDMI port for this monitor is right next to the stand. You know, you've got the base, and then you've got the long neck, and then the HDMI port's in the bottom of the monitor, but right next to that neck. So it's... You physically have to get up, move the monitor, unplug it, plug something else in. That's, that's how not so easy it is to plug in an HDMI cable. So this was the only real solution. I mean, if I had to unplug everything, it's right there. I mean, does anybody out there have any ideas on good cable management? You want a job? Uh, eventually, I'm going to have to pull the desk and everything out and get a lot of twisty ties. Maybe I'll start stealing some from loaves of bread in the house and try and do a little bit better with that four-foot HDMI cable. But yes, the arm one works. It costs a little bit more by about sixteen dollars and some change but it works don't buy that pigtail deal from Amazon don't do it but anyway that's all for this video I just wanted to go ahead and give a nice little tech review on this and tell you basically what I found in its place an alternative that actually lives up. now another thing I might want to mention before I close out this video this particular HDMI splitter by ON will only support up to 1080p. It will not go beyond that. But you know what? That's all I need. My monitor is 1080p. That's it. I don't have any 4K. I don't do 3D stuff. So it works. So if you're like me, you have a monitor, and that monitor only has one HDMI input, this is the way to go. Just remember what I said. It comes with the splitter and the micro USB power cable, and that is it. You've got to provide everything else. So, so with that in mind, until the next video, y'all, peace.